I got to say, what St. Patrick's Day is to Irish pubs, Cinco de Mayo is to Mexican restaurants and bars. And in this, in this week's Mike's Mix, we're previewing the largest celebration in the Twin Cities. Today's the big day. It's Rojo de Mayo, and that's going on at St. Louis Park's Rojo Mexican Grill. It runs all weekend long, and it may even be the biggest, not only here in the Twin Cities, but in the entire region. I dropped in earlier this week to get a preview and to help select the margarita featured on this year's menu. Every year we've grown since we started it. Um, last year I think we had about four or 5,000 people here. Is there some measure of how much margarita you go through? Yes. So last year just our base house margarita, which is one of many that we sell, um, we sold over 12,000 of those. <laughs> Yeah, one in one day. Whether it's the culmination of winter, an excuse to be outside, a celebration of one of the world's great cultures, or the tasty food and drinks, two things are true about Cinco de Mayo here. It's a party, and you absolutely cannot run dry. We will never, ever run out of margaritas. That's, that's something that uh, we, we can't let happen, and certainly won't. There's, there's more tequila than, we, than we'll need for the day. So grab a safe, sober ride. Certainly a lot of free parking around here, but it fills up fast. And enjoy the festivities. Tons of games going on, prizes, giveaways, um, lots of fun stuff, photo booths, um, getting your picture taken with a, you know, a sombrero and a mustache. Um, we have some street tacos we'll be serving outside, so lots of drink and food specials all day and all weekend long. There aren't really many rules when it comes to making a margarita, which lends itself to playing around a bit in the recipe. That's what these three bartenders are doing today. Good morning, I'm Marshall Reese from Tavern 23 in Edina. Today we're going to be serving the Sunset Margarita. What's the secret weapon in this one for you? It's going to probably be our mezcal and the pomegranate syrup. It uh, gives a little bit of a smoky flavor. And then the pomegranate obviously takes it away from your natural, normal margarita that you probably serve, see served in most places. Hi, I'm Ben with Randall's Restaurant and Bar on Nicolette Mall in downtown Minneapolis. And today I'm going to make a smoky and spicy blackberry margarita. I think there's two secret weapons, the mezcal, which gives that smoky part that I was talking about, and then the spicy part, which is that spiced rim that you put around the end, which is cayenne pepper, uh, kosher salt, black pepper, white pepper, and garlic powder. I'm Colin, I'm with Rojo West End St. Louis Park, and I'm going to make the Minnesota Heat Margarita. Secret weapon is definitely the Ancho Reyes chili liqueur. Uh, just a half ounce, so it's not overpowering, just gives that nice little bite. Um, Minnesota Heat, so it's not super spicy. I and a few reps from Spirits Company Bean Suntory tasted these three interpretations. Notes were made and scores were tallied. The best is destined to be featured this weekend at Rojo and throughout the summer. I think, gentlemen, we are in agreement. It was actually extremely close within a couple of points for all of you guys. But the winner today, Minnesota Heat. Uh, that Ancho Reyes liqueur is... Uh, it's a secret ingredient that uh, mm. if you add to something like a margarita, you are destined to win your own contest at home as well. You can find that recipe at WCCO.com slash Mike's Mix. The party starts at 11 today and goes until 11 tonight.